this chapter of the fairy tale manga, chapter 515, it's a fucking 10.5 out of 10. Oh my goodness, that's how fucking amazing that shit was. Like we get the full, we, we get the full complete backstory of Urza's birth. Her parent, her mother, Irene, who went batshit crazy, and her piece of shit of a father. Fuck him. So after we learn, we go into the whole concept of how Irene, Irene met her. Met Urza's father, how they were in love, how she, he protected her after her dragon guardian died. But then Irene started to transform her skin, she grew scales, and the man that she loved didn't love her anymore. So he started calling her a monster. He was the king of that of the West Coast that during that time. He started calling her a monster and saying that you sided the dragons. And said, how you say now? I love the dragons, I love you, but she said, see. You say you love dragons, so that makes me. <clears throat> or his father not like that. He said, You're a dragon, that makes you our enemy. So they locked her up and they started torturing her for three years. Imagine that being tortured for three years. So that's a common thing Urza and her mother have. That's the thing that Urza and her mother have in common. They both know what it's like to be tortured. So after that, I think she started growing more skills and Urza was still in her um, early when she wasn't even born yet. Then her lover, her captive, her lover, came in and was fierce at her and started calling her dragon woman saying, I was trying to say, I'm pregnant with your child. He's like, lying. And he said, I want to I want you to show me this child and cut her belly. That explains the scar. So that explains the scar she got inside of her stomach. A lot of people are speculating that she had a C-section or something like that. So after that, I didn't got fucking pissed and turned into a dragon form, which looks amazing to tell you the truth. She got so damn pissed at this dude and fucking killed him with everybody else in the castle. And then she flew away. Then she landed on Tenro Island. What the fuck she was? I think it was Tenro Island. She landed there. That's and then hundreds of years passed and she met Zareth. Irene was stuck in her dragon form. She was not like Agnolia who could transform back into his human form and go into a dragon. She was stuck in her dragon form, but the help of Zareth, I think that that's what explains it to Zareth and Agnolia. Zareth turned Agnolia human and he was stuck in his dragon form as well. Um, that's why I'm speculating. So she met Zareth. And she was saying how he was amazing, how he did something that she couldn't do and turn her into a dragon, turn her back to a human. But Zeph said, explain, no, you're still a dragon, I just gave you a human form. And she said, I don't, I don't, it don't matter to me. So years went by and I mean, she was, this is when she started going crazy. She couldn't eat, she couldn't sleep. And then she was real, she started to realize, I want to be, she was a dragon still. She said, I want to be human, I want to be human. She, uh, she had a human child in her stomach, her child. She wanted to protect Urza, but then the craziness of it all, she, she wanted to fuse her body. When she realized she had a human child going in her, she wanted to fuse her body, like take over Urza's body during that time, but she she was unable to do it. So she just said, I'm abandoning you. You're useless to me. You're no longer who I wanted anymore. Then she just left. So that was the end of that backstory. But even though she looks, I think it looks fine as she is now, like, fucking amazing. She's still, and she's still a dragon. She is no longer human. She's still a dragon. But Zev just gave her, just gave her, like, transformed back into her human self. But she's still a dragon, though. Then, well, at Urza, King said, and she said, I think said, I, that's, you were useless to me during that time. You, you were nothing since I couldn't do the enchantment. You were nothing to me, so I just left you in that piece of shit village. <laughs> Wendy did not like that. She was pissed. And Urza, you would thought she would even start crying or something like that, but she was like, I thank you for giving birth to me, and I also thank you for abandoning me. And she transformed to this huge, this brand new outfit that I think it is the, it's the magic left to, from Irene of her human magic and her lovers, Urza's piece of shit of her father magic and if I awaken in Urza and she transforms into that new armor. This battle, I'm telling you the chapter 516, this battle is gonna be fucking intense. 
between Urza and Ivy and Hood. This is going to be the battle to end. Battle of Chubb Parent versus Child Battle to end all battles. Like, oh my goodness. And you might, I wonder if, if I loses, will she go back? Will she still be back? She crazy or will she go back to her loving parent self? Like, and she loves Urza again. So, there you have it. That's it for this anime review episode slash manga episode. So, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like this, share it, and comment down below what you thought about this latest chapter. And subscribe. And turn on notifications because we need that now. So, this is your boy, Prince G Money. Don't worry about the username that says G Money Prince. I think I might keep it. I don't know. It is whichever one. It's your boy, G Money. Prince and I'm signing out.